Hi Year 8, I just wanted to talk to you um, quickly about the next piece of work which is the copy of a cubist painting. Um, you're going to be copying this probably in pencil but it's quite possible you might have paints or something else that you can use um, and I, so I just wanted to work through and suggest a few ways you might approach this. So I've chosen this piece, um, I've got it up on my phone here. Uh, it's quite a complex piece so I'm going to be closing in on a section of it. I'm not going to do all of it. Um, I can close in on a section and just fix it like that. Um, so that will be the section that I'm working on. So my first stage to this work is sketching out. I've got a 2B pencil. I quite like a soft pencil for this so I can get some darker tones. And I'm just going to start sketching out some of the basic shapes here. So I'm looking for some markings close to the edge um, where I can start just mapping out. So this one is below halfway. This marker here is just to the left of the halfway point and I can start sketching those in. So I'll get those sketched in place, something like this. I'm not going to worry too much if I don't fill the paper exactly. And this one's here and it's dropped just to the left of the halfway point, which is where I wanted it to be. I'm trying to sketch fairly lightly at this point. And you can see hopefully that form starting to just map itself out. Um, I've got a few more details to add here and then I can show you building up a little bit of shading. So around there I've got the line, this little bit of detail here. Right, and I've got some forms in there. That's enough now for me to just start my shading. When I'm shading with the cubist style, it tends to be, if you notice the area here, um, it tends to be darker and then work towards a lighter bit. So generally there's darker corners and it's about just graduating your shading from a dark corner or a dark area and blending it to a lighter area. And this can be quite easy and simple in pencil. So here I can just work on that corner and I can work outwards trying to blend it. And you can use different mark making techniques for this. So here I've got a kind of cross hatching going on where I just work outwards and start trying to work to some lighter tones as I work outwards. Um, I've got a darker area just here where it's a darker line and a darker line there. I can put those in a bit more strongly. I've got that curve there. It's a bit darker there. And I just build in my shading. If it's a medium tone, I can just shade it in fairly straightforward like that. I've got a lighter bit there, so I might work with a rubber onto that just to soften it a little bit and bring that tone down a bit. And just filling in these areas, I've got that really dark area there. Oh, I've not marked in that section. I've got that really dark section there, so I can work that in fairly dark quickly like that. And you can see the section here where I was initially working, just building outwards. And again, areas with a medium tone, I can just get those filled in fairly quickly. So this would be how you would approach the piece in pencil. Right, you can also do this work in colour pencil and it's one like this is very easy and well, very straightforward in colour pencil because it's got such limited colours. So um, I'm really intending to just use the brown, the black and some green because there's a slight hint of green in there. Now the colour pencils I've got are very kind of low quality ones that I've got here. I just wanted to show you how you might, with whatever colour pencils you've got, be able to approach this. So I'm looking for that. I've got that light edge there that I'm leaving whiter. Um, I'm filling in my brown here, but it's not quite the right kind of brown, so I'm going to try and work over that and just try and bring it to a more suitable brown. I've got the black marking here, that black edge, so I can work over that with the black pencil, and I can darken this area of the brown with pencil too, so that you can see it will just blend over the brown and hopefully be a little bit closer to what I'm looking for. Um, and I'm going to bring a hint of green into this. It just has got the tiniest 
hint of green there. Um, you can see down here it's a little bit greener still, so I'm going to put a little bit of green into that area as well um, before I start working over that, just so there's something there to represent that element of green. Um, you can see here really some quite dark markings. I'll see if I can get this pencil dark enough for that. And work over with a little bit of black and a little bit of brown and just build up those layers of colour. Just keep an eye on what colour you're ending up with, whether it needs a little bit more green or a little bit more brown. And just working around there. So you can work in colour pencil too. One of my favourite materials for working on uh, Cubist work is oil pastels though. I just think this works nicest and it's really quite quick to work with. Um, as you can see here, I'm just starting to build outwards here with the oil pastels, just working the black layer on and then you can start thinking about building over with some of the other colours. It's best if you work in oil pastel to do larger shapes so close in maybe a little bit more, so maybe a section might be more like that rather than this one. Um, and remember to blend your different colours. So here I put the black on and blending over with another colour and that really allows me to get some mixed colours on there and a much more paint-like finish. And if I work really strongly with oil pastel, you can see it does become quite like a paint and you get quite a rich colour developing there. And so I've got these strong markings here. I try to be really bold with them as you develop it. See there, I'm going to go over that little bit there. Got markings here and there. And there's my grey. So I can work a grey section there as well. And you can see how quickly you can work with oil pastels to build up these areas keeping that quality of observation going, so really make sure you're looking carefully at the subject matter as you work. Okay, Year 8, that's your task for this week. Copying a section of the Cubist painting uh, using a material of your choice. Um, it could be pencil, it could be colour pencil, it could be oil pastel, watercolour. Or you could even try out household materials that you might have, such as soy sauce or instant coffee mixed with water. Um, if you're using those things, you can get a really good brown colour with them. Um, so it's great for these brown kind of paintings that the Cubists have. You just get a lighter tone by using a bit more water or a darker tone by mixing a richer mix with more coffee. So good luck with that piece of work. Hope it goes well and I look forward to getting your examples of that work emailed to me.